I'm super excited to share with you how to get GRBL, our software, onto our Arduino and also how to get our control software on our computer that's going to communicate with that GRBL. Ultimately, that GRBL is going to send signals to our stepper drivers and those, of course, are going to drive our little stepper motors that are going to forward the axes of our CNC machine. So we're going to do it and I've got some very, very good news for you. The GRBL that we're going to put on here is going to be free and the program that's used to control our CNC and also to put the GRBL on is the same program and it's also free. We're going to use GSender it is a fantastic way to get GRBL, a current version that's totally compatible with the software, onto your Arduino. In fact, it's the easiest. Most people, when they put things on Arduinos, use something called the Integrated Development Environment, and that is fine. You could do it that method, but you have to go through quite a few gymnastics. This is a much, much easier way. If I would have known about this when I first built my first CNC, I could have saved myself hours of frustration. I think you're gonna find, even if you're savvy with Arduinos, that this is an incredible tip, and you're really, really gonna like it. And besides that, once you get the G-Sender software on, we can use it to configure the settings inside the GRBL, which is huge, and do it in a very, very friendly manner. It's a really, really great program. It's compatible on Windows, Mac, and also the Raspberry Pi. It will not run on a Raspberry Pi 5. I will give you one little disclaimer about GRBL. I have heard that people that try to run it on Chrome uh, computers have trouble with it. So word of warning, you may have trouble if you try to run this on a Chrome computer. I would recommend you try to run it on something besides a Chrome computer. That being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and get the G Sender program up first, and then we're gonna, once we have it loaded, we're gonna use that to put the GRBL software onto this. So what's the easiest way to get to the site that's gonna give us this free software? The answer is just go into your Google search bar and type in G-S-E-N-D-E-R, G Sender, one word, hand enter, and you're gonna see a link to CNC Labs. Click on that link, and lo and behold, here's your page in front of you. You can read through all the features. It's got a link here that you can go and you can look about what type of license it is. It's a GNU you know, public license, but read all about it if you like. The bottom line is it's free to distribute and it's free to modify, which means it's truly open source. It's exactly what we want. Choose your operating system. I'm gonna go walk you through the process of downloading it for Windows because that's what most people have set up. Even though I personally run it on a Raspberry Pi 400, there's perks of doing that, but for right now, let's just go download it on a Windows machine. So click on the Windows. It needs to be Windows 9, 10, or 11. They probably have an older version out there if you have a computer that is running before Windows 9. Uh, you just have to go find it in the archive. With that being said, let's click on download, click on yes. It's about a little over 100 megabytes. It'll take a minute or two depending on how fast your internet connection is. Once it's downloaded, click on the file, accept that you are willing to let it make changes to your computer, and it will install it. Once it's installed, go find it on your drive, wherever it was stored, probably in the program files. And I would recommend that you drag a thumbnail across so that it's on your desktop so we have it to use. And once it's there, go ahead and click to open it. And when you do, you should have a screen that looks like what I've got displayed here on my monitor. I'm pulling up my G-Sender now on my computer. And if you look at the top left-hand corner, there's a, what looks like a little plug-in that's flashing. And that's where we're gonna plug in our Arduino ultimately, but if you hover over it right now, you'll see that it says no devices found. Well, that's to be expected. Why is that to be expected? Because we haven't yet plugged in our Arduino into our system. So what do we need to do? We need to take our Arduino Uno, we need to take our USB cable with the type B connector, which is the square blocky one. Thank you for the viewer that corrected me when I called this A connector in the last video. Push in until it snaps, you can hear it snap there. Take the other end of your USB cable, the square flat end and plug it into USB 2 port. This cable on this Arduino with USB power will power up the Arduino. We don't need any external power supply. So when you plug it into your USB port, it's going to you hear a little beep probably if you're in Windows unless you have that feature set shut off. And now it probably still says no devices found, but it's really there. When you need to do hover off that menu for a second and just go back on it and immediately you're gonna see, you're gonna have a new option there. Click on that option and that will be your device and mine is on COM3, yours might be on a different COM port. Now that we have clicked on that, a green check mark should appear on that screen. That means you've got your little Arduino hooked up. Now, mine I technically have already flashed on the code onto this Arduino, but it tells you that you've already got this hooked up. Now, go ahead and go to the firmware button on the top right, click on it, and under a profile, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different machines on the drop-down menu you know, going from a start of maybe alt mill or long mill or something like that. 
I would recommend, it doesn't really matter which of these you pick because we're going to flash GRBL on the same way no matter which one we choose. But I think for our purposes to be consistent, go ahead and choose the generic CNC for your choice. And then once it's selected, go to the right hand side and click on flash GRBL and say you're willing to accept it. It will overwrite whatever was previously on here. We're good with that. Click yes. You'll see the yellow lights that were on here that were flashing before turn solid. This will take a few seconds, probably around 30 or 40 seconds on your computer, maybe less. Mine's done. So what you have successfully done is you've uploaded the software onto this. And whether we unplug this or not, it still stays in the memory of the Arduino. So it's good to go. You don't have to go through this process over and over again. Now let's go verify that we really do and have GRBL on this. So with this plugged in, when once you flashed it, even if you didn't unplug this cord, it will unhook this, this Arduino. This is important. Hear what I'm saying. Go back to that connect to machine, click on it again, and re-click on it so that the green check mark appears again. Otherwise, you're going to think it didn't work when it did. Now go to the bottom right-hand side, go down to where it says console, click on it, and scroll up, and you're going to see G Sender written there. It will probably say GRBL in brackets, and then it'll say connected on COM3 at some, well, some COM port and some baud rate. And then this is really important. It will say GRBL, and mine says 1.1H. That is the most current version when I shot this video. That is exactly what you need to know. That's the version that you put on your Arduino. Congratulations. You've just not only loaded the software on your computer, but you've loaded it on your Arduino as well. And now the G-Center program is capable of sending CNC code to this. And if we have our little shield on here with screwing terminals, that can go out to our stepper motors and that can go drive those stepper motors to forward our axes or reverse our axes, which is exactly what we need for a CNC machine. They're two thirds of the way. Now, we put a generic code on here with a bunch of parameters. On that console window on the bottom right hand side, you're going to see a whole bunch of dollar sign number equals number. Those are the parameters that we're ultimately going to have to adjust. We could do it manually by going down the command line, putting a dollar sign, a numeric value, and equals a numeric value. But ultimately, let me tell you one of the best features of G-Sender. One of the best features is if you go back to the top where it says firmware, click, click on that firmware button again, and you now see a bunch of settings. And if you scroll with your middle mouse button, everything within the console is going to appear in a nice window that's easy to read, and you can change the numeric values. Now, big time word of warning. When you change the numeric value on one of these, you have to put the number in and hit the enter key, or it's not going to take. And then you have to do one more thing. You don't want to hit reflash GRBL. We'll be back to ground zero. Once you put a new number in one of these squares, you're going to then go apply new settings. Now you could actually change a whole bunch of them at once. And then when you get all done, hit apply new settings. And what that will do is put the new settings on here. To illustrate, if we go all the way to the bottom and I go to uh, Z axis maximum travel, I'm going to change my value down here to 130 and I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to hit the apply new settings. Now you don't even hardly see it, but there was just a little microsecond where those two lights lit up and it changed that value. Now in memory, if you go back to the console window and you scroll all the way down, there's probably two sets of them. There's the first set we initially had. And so keep scrolling with your middle mouse button or you're gonna think it didn't take and you'll get the second set of values and it's there. Um, and you know you can completely unplug this and plug this back in and go in and reconnect and you'll find, guess what? All those settings stay. You've come a long, long ways. Congratulations. You've successfully uploaded GRBL, a current version, onto your Arduino by flashing it on there. You successfully set up software on your computer, G-Sender, that is going to be able to communicate with this Arduino. And ultimately, it'll be able to run our CNC code that's coming from computer-aided design programs, which I'll also show you how to do those for free and open source. And... You may think that you're home free. We still got some hurdles to get over, but I'm going to navigate those for you. And I'm going to, in the next video specifically, teach you how to wire up your power supply in a safe manner. I'm going to tell you a big mistake I made with my first power supply that you definitely don't want to repeat. I'm going to also tell you about a huge mistake I made that cost me several days of frustration because I didn't know something about stepper drivers that I should have known, but nobody told me. And still, I don't really see anybody talking about this on the internet, but you don't want to make that mistake. In the Bible, it talks about the importance of good counsel. 
There's lots of Proverbs that talk about that. In the New Testament, it talks about if you're going to build a tower, sit down and think about the cost of the tower so that you know you can complete it. Because if you don't complete it and people see that you haven't completed it, they may mock you when it's done. I want to show you how to get around all this stuff so that you know exactly what's lying before you in advance. Experience is a dear teacher, but fools will use no other. You don't need to make the same mistakes that I made in building my CNC. You can leapfrog over those mistakes by tuning into the next video. If you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe. Listen to my mistakes. Mistakes are not really failures. They're not failures. They're stepping stones. But you don't have to go through all the mistakes and stepping stones that I went through. You can go make your own mistakes in the future on something else. You can drive the field forward by trying some novel things that you've never tried before. Tune in, hit like, hit subscribe. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put some other videos out there to show my CNC doing some projects. I know some of you are trying to get this CNC machine put together by Christmas. I'm gonna put the pedal in the metal. I'm gonna to try to get as many of these videos out and keep the quality up as I possibly can so that you're not waiting on me. But if you have not yet flashed your Arduino, gotten your software, you wanna do that, get that set up. I'll see you in the next video.